Rated T for Teen. Hello, my name is Martin Walfish and I'm the founder and president of Massive Entertainment. We're currently working on a game that we believe will change the RTS genre forever. The game is called World in Conflict. Today I'd like to show you our ground deformation system and also reveal what we have achieved with DX10. World in Conflict is of course the best looking game ever, well at least we think so. But let me say that we're still working on the final touches and my team has an attention to detail that I think is second to none. You haven't seen everything yet and here's what I'm talking about. For a long time we said that we wouldn't have ground deformation in World Conflict, but with our focus on realistic destruction and intensity, we eventually decided that we simply had to add some real damage to Mother Earth. Here's an artillery barrage raining down from the sky on some poor units. Notice how the ground takes just as much damage as everything else. The tanks that follow will now have to drive down into the crater and then up again on the other side. All units are affected in the same way of course, and there is no limit to how much deformation you can add in the game. It looks pretty awesome, but this is not just a graphical feature. In World in Conflict, line of sight is an important tactical aspect, and good players will know how to use this to their advantage. When units move through deformed terrain, it has a direct impact on their line of sight. For instance, an infantry unit that is in the bottom of a big crater won't be able to see beyond the edge above. Okay, so now let's take a quick look at our DX10 specific additions to the game. We have been working with NVIDIA to add something special to the players that have a DX10 graphics card installed. The first thing I will show you is for real connoisseurs. In developer language we call it soft particles or Z-feather. Let me explain. You may have noticed that in many games the edges of a particle effect, like smoke, can look striped or almost like two-dimensional planes stacked next to each other. Well, to make it more convincing, we have added soft particles in real 3D. It means that all particle effects like smoke, explosions, fire, debris and so on actually exist in the world. In combination with our particle physics, the smoke actually behaves like a real 3D object that would react to the world and units exactly as it would in real life. Another example of our attention to detail is this DX10 feature, Global Cloud Shadows. All the clouds in World in Conflict are volumetric and behave like clouds should. But with this new feature we have added a hyper-real behavior on the shadows from clouds too. See here how the shadows move across the fields. When they hit buildings, objects and units, the effect is completely realistic and accurately simulated as the shadows move across walls, rooftops, trees and everything else. Shadows are, of course, also affected by the cloud shape and thickness. See those rays of sunlight that shine down on the landscape below? That type of effect is sometimes called God Rays, and we really wanted to add that effect to the game. It turned out that it's pretty hard to do if you want the effect to react to the world in a realistic manner, but here it is, our very own light from above. It's a very beautiful effect that allows our map creators to make world in conflict just perfect. Okay, finally, another really cool DX10 feature. A lot of people who have played World in Conflict have come to realize exactly how useful our Mega Map is. The Mega Map is available to all players on all systems, and as you see here, it is a satellite view of the battlefield with live updates and accurate rendering of units, field of view, and explosions. You can even play the game in this view if you like. But what if you could have the Mega Map available at all times? Well, that is precisely what the X10 users can do. Check it out. Our dual screen solution allows players to have the Mega Map on one monitor while playing the game on the other. Okay, that's it for World in Conflict and me today. Get ready for the most intense strategy game ever created, coming this fall. Massive, signing out. <laughs>